Now we prepare the application for downloading to Google Play. The first thing we need to do is to set the icon for the application. This is easy to do. We just click on the project using a right button, then we select New, Other, and we open the Android tab and select Icon Set. Here, we will be offered a selection menu, and we choose a launcher icon, for which we do it, and the name of the project. Then we click on Next, and here it offers three tabs, such as Image, Clip Art, and Text. We need to choose Image, and we upload the image that we want to see in the application. We can set the format to either round or square. We keep the round one. We think it may bring some luck. And we click on Finish. It offers us to replace the old icons, and we choose to replace them all. So, the icons are created automatically, and each icon goes for its definition. Now, we will export our application for publishing on Google Play. To do this, we open the File tab, and then we select Export, Android tab, and Export Android Application. It offers us to choose a project that we want to export. It asks for the key store password. If you have it, just use it. In our case, we do not have one, so we will create it. To do this, we choose a location where we will save it, then we save it, and call it Key. Next, we assign a password. And after you've done that, just click on Next. Then you need to create an alias. You give it a name, and assign the password. Next, you validate it, and you can set 25 years by default. Then, we type the first and last names, organization type, for example, individual, your organization, city where you live, district, and a phone number. Then we click on Next, and then we have to choose the APK file that we want to sign. We go into our workspace and in a folder of our project. The APK file is stored in the bin by default.
Now, select the folder where we saved the APK file and call it Our Game. We click on Finish. Of course, it will not let us sign APK with such data. You have to enter your own data, and then you can only sign it. Now our file is signed. We go into the documents, and here our APK is signed for downloading. Next, we go to the browser and put in play.google.com slash apps slash publish. In order to have access to the Android Development Console, you will need to register as a developer. It's not difficult. The only thing you need to do is just to pay $25. Let's move on to the application download. Now we click on Upload. We are offered to select an APK file. Then we go to the documents and select the appropriate file. We download it. When the application is downloaded, we click on Save. After saving, we fill in the information on the application. Then we upload screenshots. There should be more than two, as it is a mandatory requirement. Next, we download the background. It downloaded. Then, we download the second one. We choose the file and click on Upload. Then, you can upload the high-resolution icon, promotional graphic, and additional images of your application. Also, we provide a link to the promotional video and privacy policy. If we do not have it, we simply put a check mark in the area labeled Not Submitted. Then you are offered to enter a title description, changes, and promotional text. In the title for the game, we type the title and description. The other fields are used only if necessary. Then you select the application type, Games, Category, Arcade and Action, Copy Protection, and Content Rating. We set it for everyone. Next, you choose Free or Paid Application. It depends on you. We choose Free and Countries. Next, we indicate the website of the developer, the email, and the phone number. Next, we select that this application meets all the agreements and guidelines. Then, we put a check mark to state that the application may be subject to US laws, etc.
Next, we click on Save, and here we are asked if we really want to distribute it for free. After you select it, nothing can be changed, so click on OK. Then it says that it is necessary to have a high resolution icon that is 512 by 512. So we fill this big icon and click on save. Then we again agree that we understand that it's free. It is all saved. Next, we can move to the APK file. And here is the information about our APK. Also, here are two links, such as Activate and Remove. If you click on Activate, it does not mean that you publish it. Before the publication, you need to activate the APK, and it is published only for testing. When the APK is activated and all the information about the application is entered, you need to click on Publish and your application will be in the store in just a few hours. Next, we just wait on monthly reports, getting big money and living happily. Good luck to all and have successful sales. And thank you for taking the time to join me on this adventure.